guys, it's Twitter One Maxwell here, and welcome to the roundup of the awards in our TNA save. We're going to have a look and see where we've placed in the Power 500, and to see if we've gotten any of the of the year awards. Probably not, because it's TNA. It usually tends to go to either WWE or the Japanese wrestlers, because the Japanese wrestlers constantly put over good matches. But at the same time, we'll have a look at our company and we'll have a look and see who's got certain over on this and maybe who we can push going forward. So, as expected, rest of the year, as always, goes to Hiroshi Tanahashi. So, well done to him. He's won it both years in my WWE save as well. Company of the year went to New Japan, the Japan Pro Wrestling, with a solid 2016. Remember, we've been in charge of TNA since April, first week of April. It's so eight months we've been in charge. Team of the Year went to King Ace, which was the team, uh, the team of Hiroshi Tanahashi and Toge Makabe. What I will stress as well is, I've not seen any of these awards, um, who wins them, so this is literally me finding out. As you guys do, as the same in the 500. Match of the Year went to a match between Okada defeating Kota Ibushi. So again, Japan dominating there. And the Show of the Year went to New Japan's Battle Lines, which was in September. What I'm noticing as well is when I was WWE, because we're getting so many wrestlers over, I was winning some of these. But it looks like with the AI in charge of WWE, that a lot of these awards are going to go to, to New Japan. Young Wrestler of the Year went to Dragon Lee, which I've seen in my WWE save as well, which uh, has led to me signing him. Veteran Wrestler of the Year went to Togi Makabe. Again, pretty similar, happened in WWE save. Now, the female wrestler of the year, I've won it every time I've been in charge. I don't think I'll get it, so I'll be intrigued to see who gets it. And it has been Madison Eagles who wins it. Because normally it's been like I've always had a WWE female wrestler over, so Becky Lynch has won it. Um, spoiler alert when it comes, but uh, Paige is going to win the second one. So interesting that it's Madison Eagles that wins it, and hopefully we can get some, some TNA representation in that in the next year. I feel it's going to be a good year, 2017 in-game for uh, TNA Knockout Wrestling. Independent Wrestler of the Year went to Mr. Anderson. Good on him. Manager of the Year went to Paul Heyman. Announcer of the Year goes to Michael Cole. Your colour commentator went to John O'Clock! As JBL wins it. If you don't get that John O'Clock reference, it's a what culture reference, but uh, JBL wins colour commentator of the year. Certainly won't be happening in real life. And the referee of the year went to John Cohen. So, um, mostly in the wrestling side of things, it goes to New Japan wrestlers, and mostly on the production side of things, you could say, it goes to the North American WWE. Apart from that, nothing really else to touch on there. Brian Myers is with GFW, because GFW was still a massive thing at this time, or still a thing. Obviously, he's re signed with WWE in real life with uh, a very interesting gimmick. So, Power 500. We'll just really go over the top 10 and then we'll hunt through the 500 looking for TNA talents. So, the top 10. So, this is going to be similar. Everything seems to be in Japan uh, because I've not been in charge uh, of a major company. When it was WWE, you know, we were quite in about the top 10 and top 20. So, as you see there, there's no Roman Reigns, there's no Seth Rollins, which you would have seen in a WWE video, because they've been having 90 matches every week, rather than the 70s, they are with AI. So, top 10, Tanahashi, Okada, Kota Ibushi, Togi Makabe, Naito, Minoru Tanaka, Rocky Romero, very high position for him, Satoshi Kojima, Hiroshi Tenzan, and Jushin van der Liger. 11 to 20, Kachiko Nakajama, Yuji Nagata, Taguchi again at 13, Junakiyama at 14, Shingo Takagi at 15, Tiger Mask at 4th, 16. A first TNA wrestler who has only been on a pre show match for us, Akira Tazawa, and at 17, Osamu Nishimura, and at 18, BXB Hulk at 19, and the former Sigara, the former Mystico, Karistico, and at number 20. So let's go hunting around and see if we can find any TNA talents. The highest WWE talent is Roman Reigns at 34. 
and something tells me we're going to be looking a lot for TNA talents. But number one, down from 38 last year to 43, is Robert Roode. So Bobby Roode is up there quite high. Let's see if we can find anyone else. Abyss is up at a high 50. So he's gained up from 285. A good year for Abyss. Um, certainly very shocked by the fact he's gotten that high. Let's see if we can see anyone else here. I see Dean Ambrose in there. I see Rhino in there. It's, it's certainly a much different uh, top 100 in comparison to a WWE save, that's for sure. We certainly get a, a lot of different wrestlers over. Let's see, there's Kane and Big Show in up the top 100. So that gives you an idea of how many wrestlers that we've got up there. Uh, considering not many <laughs> made it. Let's see, Michael Hutter, so EC3 is in at 125th. He's up from 143. And as TNA continues to grow, I think he'll be someone who'll grow with us and, and definitely break that top 100. Get Rumi Studio in at 133, down from 33. He's had a pretty average year in TNA, but the wellness fell the policy didn't help him. Drew Galloway at 136, a good increase for him. Uh, be interesting to see what happens with Drew going forward. And Fergal Devitt at 137. The champ is only going to get better and better, and I feel like he'll smash the top 50 next year. But how good we'll hopefully have him over. Let's see who we've got. Magnus is in at 149, so we're getting a lot of our wrestlers in now. He's got a small increase from his 2015 position. So you get Adam Cole in there, 160, who is up a lot of positions. I feel like he'd be even higher. And the sooner he gets over this knee tendonitis, then hopefully he can just break that top 100 and certainly be a, a cornerstone for the company going forward. Former champ, Stu Bennett, is at 172. Jay Lethal in there at 173. So both of them have had big declines since joining TNA. Matt Jackson, 178. I haven't seen Shibata. Oh, there he is. 181. Speak of the devil. Up from 246. He's only going to get better and better. The TNA national champion. A lot of victories this year. And someone who's going to have a mega 2017. Bobby Lashley, 184. Big increase for Lashley. Big title match. A big number one contenders match, I should say, before the title match. Next week, will he be EC3 and face Devitt at Genesis? 186. MVP. Small little increase for him. Nakamura as low as 189. Wow. Nick Jackson there at 192. And that rounds out the top 200. 204, you get Brian Cage. So he's a good increase since signing. David Richards in at 209. What else have we got here? James Storm at 226 from the world. Bram at 234. Some very average wrestlers here. Like, really, would you see Darren Young being someone ahead of, you know, likes of Cody Rhodes or, or Big E? Really? Apparently, because of this game. Um, let's see. Uh, Tyrus is at 264. Not really wrestled a lot for us, but hopefully we can work some plans in. The former Rhodes Clay. Uh, Jeff Hardy is down at 266. A bad year for Jeff Hardy. Um, did defeat Matt Hardy with the, the final deletion, but apart from that, it's kind of been the really fit Jeff in because he's not really as over as we would like. Let's see if we see anyone else. Crazy Steve at 284, so a good year for Crazy Steve. We see in there as well, we'll get 280, a big decline for Matt Hardy. Will he return to TNA? We'll watch this space. We'll see if we get anyone else round up the top. 300. So no one else in the top 300. We'll leave it there and we'll check our company now because it's not going to be folk that are really going to be worthwhile. Sami Zayn, eh, Sami Zayn, Sami Callahan's contract's up in a month's time. We'll probably extend that. Hasn't done too much in TNA, but at 29, you know, I certainly think there's a lot of room there to make something happen. Quick look at our size. You can see here, lowest is 51, highest is 57. Again, it's going to take us a bit of time to get to national, but well clear of Cult. So we're definitely we're definitely cult level. We're not going to drop any lower. It's just about building up brand awareness.
So we're just really going to judge our roster by their overness. So we'll give you just an idea of the figures that our wrestlers are at. So Abyss is at 58. Adam Cole, 63. So there's a good chance, you know, he can push into that 70s this year. Aiden O'Shea down at 17s. Tazawa, 50s and 60s. So, you know, if we can get him snapped up in a written deal or if we can get him used on pay-per-views, he could be a massive hand. Al Snow, not really needed. Ali. Between 34s and 22s, 41 in Puerto Rico. You're surely just finding the right storyline for her. Angelina Love at 22s, Baron Dax 24, 23s, Barbicio Baraka, we don't use Billy Corgan. Bobby Lashley sent at 57s, 58s, we could actually maybe change him, I think, to upper mid card. We'll drop him down a little bit. Not really a main event, so 58, 57. There could be one last run in him, possibly. But at 40, we'll see what happens. 39, you've got the 64 over, Bobby Roode. You get Brahman at 55s. 52 rated, Brandy Reynolds. Interesting. Braxton Sutter at 28s. Brian Cage at 37s. A couple of different grades in there as well. Brian Hedner doesn't matter. Britannia Knight, 45s. So again, already the more over women's wrestler we've got. Caleb Conley back from his injury now. So when they start to use him at 29. Uh, 17 over, so plenty of time to get him over. Jericho, 82s. Oh. Chris Melendez, 18s. Pretty much just a job on now, enhancement talent. Crazy Steve's built up to 33 over. Daniel De Niro's really just here. Dave Lugana, not really needed. Dave Richards, 48s. 47s are 51 in the southwest. Hmm, should we break the wheels up at one point? Give them an opportunity. We'll see. Zem Ion, 22. 49 over for Drew Galloway. Again, it's just finding the right storyline for Drew. And similar over on this, which is quite unreal, is Eddie Edwards at 47, 46. So I think a lot of these will, will fix their position in the cards. But the, again, Eddie Edwards, similar to David Richards, just when they give them their opportunity as singles wrestlers. 20 over for Eli Drake. 64s for EC3, so he's certainly over. Phoenix is a 49 in the southwest, a couple of 28s, a couple of 34s, so a bit of a mixed bag. And Phoenix, Devitt, certainly 74s across the US, and a 75 in New England. Gil Kim, 34 over, so she's not as over as she once was, which is a shame. Grado, 19s. Gary Helms, not really being used. Jaden at 34s, there's definitely room there. She's young enough to go over and hopefully she'll be part of the long term future of the knockouts division. A 40 for James Storm, it's really hard to get him over because of his declining physical ability. Um, we'll see what happens with beer money. It doesn't look good for James Storm though. G Lethal at 53s. Jeff Hardy down at 49s to show you the decline of Jeff Hardy. 70 when I started, he's down at a 49. I just can't find the right storyline for him and he just keeps getting worse and worse so we need to see what we do with Jeff. Jesse at 28s, Carly 8s and 13s and 12s, she's just not getting over as an authority figure. Do we maybe make her a wrestler and just try and get her some wins? That Kellyanne English, we signed, no popularity in the US but some good stats in, America, uh, in Australia. Technically, I feel like she's got a couple of decent stats that we can get her over with um, one for the future. But I thought we needed to block up the, the roster, so we'll give her a chance. Kenny Omega, just 35 over in the States, so I think we're going to break him out of the X Division eventually uh, and try and push him to the moon. That's my guy. Lena Leonard. MVP with 56 over. Madison Rain, 34s across the board apart from the Great Lakes. Magnus with 57, so he's still fairly over. Shira with 18s, Mandras with 20s, so you can see why they're enhancement talents, the same with Marty Bell at 15s and 17s. Matt Hardy is still on the roster, but is on vacation. Will he return and be unbroken? That is a 50 overness for Matt anyway. Actually, more over than Jeff. Matt Jackson, 52s, Mickey James at 50s, but she's um, on maternity leave, so we can't use her. Mike Bennett, just with 35s. Mike Tenay's doing well. Nick Jackson, 54 over. 
Rebel was 17, it's 37, it's basically a matter of time before she's released. Mysterio with 55s, Ricochet with 37s and a 40, Robbie E with 18 over, Rosemary is 50 over in the Great Lakes, struggling to be over elsewhere, Sammy Callahan 26 over, Shibata 58 over, um, everywhere pretty much apart from Hawaii, but his popularity has been a gradual build but from 10 over to 58, it's a slow process, it's not as easy as WWE getting people over, so I'm fully delighted that progress so far. Sienna at 35, Spud 24, Stu Barrett obviously has got a long term injury, but he is 58 over. Yeah, we mentioned a lot of people were coming in. This lady Saint, 22 over, but another 27 year old massive hand. We'll see her in the line. T Gruno, 17, Trevor Lee, 36s, Tyrus 35s, Velvet Sky at 32. So you can see the problem is just getting superstars over. This is why Rey Mysterio's in, this is why Chris Jericho's in, to elevate people to that 60, 70 limit. We've got a lot of 35s, it's just breaking those 35s up to 50 over, and then getting that 50 over class into the main event scene. So it's going to take a lot of hard work, but a detailed look at our roster, it's a big roster now, some names will go. But overall I think we're in a decent position going forward. Also, I can confirm we made 400, uh, sorry, 500k last month, which was uh, one of our highest profits so far. Considering we started at a million, we're doing far better than TNA is. In fact, the time this video TNA might not even exist anymore. So, uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. It's deeply appreciated. Is there MD you'd like to see get pushed from the, the wrestlers you saw? Is there MD you think we can work on their overness? Let me know in the comments section below. Who's been winning your wrestler of the year in the various other awards? Let me know as well. This is always any likes, shares, subscriptions, etc. All that jazz are always deeply appreciated. And before I get involved in the old TW YouTube business, there's some links down below to help you get started. So as always guys, thanks for watching, deeply appreciated, and hopefully I'll see you for a big main event matchup this coming week as EC3 and Lashley tangle the number one contendership for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship for the right to face Fergal David at TNA Genesis. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all. Wilson. Bye-bye.